In this video I'm going to show you how to do very simple time value of money type calculations using your HP 12C calculator. So let's look at the very basics. So if you have three out of four of these, so you've got N is your compounding period, I is your interest rate per period, uh, present value is PV and your future value is FV and these are on the top line of your calculator and are probably the most used functions. So if you have three of these you can find the other. So for example if you knew your present value and you knew the future value and you knew how many compounding rate periods you'd be able to find the interest rate or if you knew the number of compounding periods, the interest rate and the present value so that's like you put money in the bank at interest for a cer certain period of time you can find its future value. And you also have the, pay, the PMT button, which simply stands for payment, and not something else. Anyway, sign convention. Um, cash outflows and investments, we take those as being negative. So when you're investing or putting money in the bank, that's money going away from you, so we take that as negative. And cash inflows are positive. So like borrowing money would have a positive cash flow, because cash is coming into the business or whatever. It's also important to note when using the HP 12C that you use the CHS button and not the minus button to put in negative numbers. So let's just um, jump to an example. So the best way to explain how to do things is just go to examples. So you put $1,000 in the bank for 10 years and you get 5% paid at the end of each period. How much do you have after 10 years? First step, let's just extract the information. So we've got n equals 10, i is 5%, present value is minus 1,000, so emphasize that this is negative. Um, gain our cash flow conventions and we're looking to find the future value. First step, as always in every single calculation, is you must clear your calculator, otherwise you will have previous calculations interfering with your subsequent, cal subsequent calculations. So, first thing we need to do is enter these into our calculator. That's how we begin the calculation. Just double check that's clear. So, we're putting 10 and put that into N. So, press the number first and then your function, or rather your memory. So, we're putting 10 into the N memory. Then 5 and then press I. The I, the I memory um, automatically divides by 100. So, any number that goes into I is divided by 100. Um, you've also got on the G function that can be quite useful. If you press G and then I or N, you've got 12 times. So you can multiply by 12 for monthly calculations or you can divide by 12 for monthly interest. And we've also got the present value of 1,000. Use the commas to help you. Change sign puts that as negative and then press present value. And simply to calculate, we press the remaining button, the one in which we've not entered any information and that's the future value, so present future value running and we get the answer $1,628.69 which is what I got when I did the calculation previously. So that's how you do very basic time value of money calculations on an HP 12C. Hopefully this has been helpful and thank you for